Good morning. One. Subscribe. Two. Like. Like. Share. Ring the bell button. Three. Like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Four. Subscribe. Okay. So, thanks for watching again. So, our lesson for today is solving problem involving operation of fraction using QLESA. From the most essential learning competency, the learners demonstrate an understanding of key concept of operation on rational numbers. Our objectives The learners shall be able to model situations appropriately and solve problems accurately using the operation of rational numbers applying QLESA that can be found in your worksheet. Consider this situation. Josie has 5 and 3 fourth meter of dress material which she found in a changge. She needs only 3 and 1 half meter for her dress. How many meters of it will be left for her younger sister's use? Okay, so Q stands for question. How many meters of it will be left for her younger sister's use? L stands for level or least. Okay, this means it's the listings of the given or involved in the problem. So, 5 and 3 fourth meter bought of cloth, no, of dress materials bought from the Changge, and 3 and 1 half meter need for making a dress. Equation. So, 5 and 3 fourth minus 3 and 1 half equals N. So, we have solution. S stands for solution. 5 and 3 fourth minus 3 and 1 half equals, okay, so let's transform this into the mixed number into an improper fraction. So, 5 or 5 times 4 equals 20 plus 3 equals 23 over 4. Just copy the denominator. 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 2 equals 7 over 2, also the denominator. But here, we need to get the LCD or the greatest common factor. So, are we or are we going to get the... the um, so, we use the greatest common factor or the least common factor by using the listing methods or the get the multiple. So, we know that 4 and then 2 times 2 is 4. So, that's why the LCD is 4. 4 divided by 4, 1, we have times 23 says so that is 23. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 7 is 14, so 23 minus 14 is 9, so over 4, or 2 and 1 half. Okay, so 4, um, paano naging 2 and 1 half? We have 9 divided by 4, we have 2, 2 times 4 equals 8, uh, we have 1, no? It's not one half but one fourth, no? So that's why we have two and one fourth. No? So we, need, we always use the numerator or the remainder as our numerator. So our answer is.
A stands for answer. There are two and one fourth meter for a uh, left for her sister. No? Left for her sister's use. Okay, next problem. On a Saturday, Peter earned one fifth of a hundred pesos selling scraps of iron. One fourth of a hundred pesos cleaning a neighbor's yard and one half of a hundred pesos selling newspapers. How much did her earn that day? Okay, question. How much did he earn that day? So for the listings of givens, one fifth of a hundred pesos for selling scraps, one fourth of a hundred pesos for cleaning a neighbor's yard, and one half of a hundred pesos for selling newspapers. So what is the equation? One fifth plus one fourth plus one half equals n. Okay, let's continue. So our solution would be one fifth plus one fourth plus one half equals. Okay, so we need to get here the least common denominator. And we do that, 5 times 4 is 20. And then, um, 2 also is uh, divisible by 20, no? Or 20 is also divisible by 4. So that's why our LCD is 20. 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 1 equals 4. 20 divided by 4 equals 5 times 1 equals 5. 20 divided by 2 equals 10 times 1 equals 10. So we need to add 4 plus 5 plus 10 is 19 over 20. And we know that um, this 9 over 20 uh, is the amount, no? It's 9 over 20 of 100 is the amount, no? So we need to find the amount Peter earned that day. So, 9 over 20 times 100 over 1, since the, de the denominator of whole number is 1. So, 19 times 100 is 1,900. 20 times 1 is 20. So, when we are going to divide, 19 times, divided by 2 is 9. So, mayroon pang natira dyan, 100. So, that's why we get 95. That means... No, Peter earned 95 pesos that day. Right? Okay, let's have another problem. It takes Ida three fourths of an hour to complete a piece of car stitch. Okay, so if Ida can finish uh, a piece of cross stitch in three fourths of an hour, how many hours will it take her to complete a dozen pieces? Okay, so question, how many hours will it take her to finish to complete a dozen pieces? So the listings of our given, 3 4 to 1 hour for a piece of cross stitch. And 12 pieces, we know that 12 pieces equals to 1 dozen. Huh? So our equation is 3 4 times 12 equals N. And what will be our solution? 3, 4 times 12, or is equal to 3, 4 times 12 over 1. Now, if we are going to use cancellation method, so we know that 3, uh, 12, and 4, 12 and 4 can be canceled out. No? So the GCF of 4 and 12 is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. 3 times 3 equals 9. 1 times 1 is 1. So, there was 9 hours. So, the answer, Ida can complete a dozen pieces of, or dozen pieces in 9 hours. Or, Ida can complete a dozen pieces of cross stitch in 9 hours. Okay, so if you want a complete answer. Next. 
A 20 liter tank is to be filled with water repeatedly pouring from a can which holds two and one half liters. Okay. All right, again, no? a 20 liter tank is to be filled with water by repeatedly pouring from a can which holds two and one half liters. How many pours are needed to fill the tank? Question, how many pores are needed to fill the tank? The L is 20 liter tank. No? So the least thing, we have 2 and 1 half liters can of water. E, that is 20 divided by 2 and 1 half equals N. So for our solution, 20 divided by 2 and 1 half equals 20 over 1 divided by 5 over 2. No? So next, we need to change. No, we know that the whole num the denominator of whole number is one, and then we need to get the reciprocal and then change the operation from division to multiplication. The reciprocal of five two is two fifth. No, so we have twenty times two is forty over five. So we know that forty divided by five equals eight. Okay, so answer it requires. 8 pours of water to fill the 20 liter tank. Okay, do you have any questions? So, if you have any questions, write it down. At the <laughs>